it is insanely hot in there. This thing right here is reminding me of Call of Duty when you're looking through a sniper rifle with a thermal scope and you can see everyone's heat signatures. But right here we have it in a pocket sized camera that's gonna allow you to check the heat signatures around your house. And it's actually especially good if you work in IT and you need to check the thermal levels of the computers to make sure everything's working correctly. This Hick Macro Pocket Series Pocket Thermography Thermography? Thermography? Thermography sounds a lot better. Pocket Thermography camera is gonna let you check out heat signatures, take pictures, record videos, and do all that fun stuff. It features a three and a half inch LCD touch screen that allows you to see everything as well as manipulate different settings. It has a wide temperature range all the way down to negative 20 degrees Celsius and all the way up to 400 degrees Celsius. Imperial wise that's negative 4 to 752 degrees Fahrenheit in case you're wondering. It features an 8 megapixel 256 by 192 resolution camera at 25 hertz so if you're recording a video it's gonna be at 25 hertz. Not the smoothest thing ever but you don't really need it to be in this certain situation. Also not the best resolution but once again you don't need it to be because basically you're just gonna be looking to see what the temperature Inside of this little camera has 16 gigabytes of built-in flash memory that allows for up to 60,000 still images or 10 hours of video recording. It also has Wi-Fi built in so you can easily transmit all the data to your smartphone to keep an eye on things on a bigger resolution screen, as well as get the images and videos in a shareable format. So nice looking box here, we can see what it's actually going to look like. All these heat signatures, you see different colors depending on how hot things are, very nice. This will actually allow you to get four hours of use on a single charge, so definitely a long amount of time. Because I don't think you're going to be necessarily using this for too much of an extended period of time. Alright, looking good. I have a nice hard shell case with it. Inside the box I have a user manual, a thank you card, a calibration certificate, a USB-A charging adapter, and a USB-A to USB-C charging cable. It does have USB-C, very nice. Now as far as the camera itself goes, inside this nice hard shell case, we do have the camera along with a little lanyard. We also have a little net here to put other stuff. I'm not sure what you're going to want to put there, but you can put stuff. Nice little Velcro here to hold it in place. And this is a very nicely designed camera. It feels very high quality, definitely can withstand some drops. Over here on the front, we have the three and a half inch touchscreen. Down on the bottom, we have the quarter inch thread, so you can actually mount this to a tripod if you so choose. USB Type-C charging port along with the speaker grills. Up top, we have the power button along with the shutter button. And over on this side, we have nothing. But then over here on the back, it looks like we have a flashlight along with the lenses with that eight megapixel sensor. So let's actually get this thing powered on real quick. There we go, Hick Micro. Screen's looking very nice for what it is. Although it is only on this side, this part's just bezel. Oh, and there we go. Already getting some readings here. Oh, this is actually very cool. For example, if we're taking a look at this little nano leaf design over here, it's all lit up completely, right? But that's not what's actually happening. Inside, we can actually see each individual LED light radiating heat. That's very awesome. As you can see, there's only little LEDs lighting up the entire thing. The rest of it is cool to the touch. Although technically it's all cool to the touch, but you can tell what's actually hotter. Looks like it's calibrating right now and it's done. You can actually see the temperature ranges that we've had, minimum, max, as well as right now. This whole bar over here is, I guess, just completely lit up. Very, very nice. Now if we take a look at the screen, we do have some different settings. Look like we actually have capacitive buttons here. We have thermography settings, the temperature ranges, emissivity, I don't even know what half of this stuff is, humidity, distance, all this cool stuff. We have connect, so you can connect it with Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, hotspot, or cast the screen. We have capture settings, so photo settings, single capture, visible image resolution, 2 megapixels all the way up to 8 megapixels, very nice. File name header, macro mode. Device settings, we have our units, our language, time and date display settings, auto off all this good stuff like you can customize this thing to your liking we have the gallery over here so you can see all the images that we took and then we also have a menu here so we have our rule just calibrating things in my way we have image mode palettes level and span so this thing is very customizable and you can get it to how you need it. Now one of the things I wanted to try out with this and I'm still going to do it but it only goes up to 752 degrees Fahrenheit is take a look at my pizza oven that pushes over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to actually see what that looks like and how that works. So we're going to go head outside to the pizza oven, 
and see how hot this thing can get. Now using this to take a look at the pizza oven, you can see that flame coming. We can pull up the thermal camera. And as you can see, we are pushing the maximum limit of 420 degrees Celsius. It is insanely hot in there. You can see the fire in real life versus the infrared view. This is pretty crazy. Just look how hot it is compared to the surrounding area, which is completely cold. That is simply amazing. I just wish it could actually tell me how hot it was since it's definitely hotter than 420 degrees Celsius. But still very cool all right y'all so this thing is actually very cool if you happen to need something like this so you can see exactly where the problem is if something happens to be super hot and you're like oh i could feel the heat coming but i'm not sure where it's coming from and what the problem is very nice very easy to use the resolution albeit very low is definitely good enough to get the job done for what we're doing and i just like how you can see exactly where the heat signature is and the temperature and all this cool stuff this is one of the coolest things i have used in a a long time I love that it has a USB-C port now the only thing is I wish it could go past 752 degrees Fahrenheit although in most cases for I guess a lot of non-industrial uses for this you won't need to go past that temperature so it should be fine but if you do just keep that in mind that that is the limitation but if you guys happen to pick one of these up let me know how you like it and what you guys are using it for because i'm actually kind of curious what somebody's going to get one of these for to use in the real world because right now i'm just thinking of like computers electricians stuff like that maybe some construction depending on how hot things get but you guys let me know how you're using this because i mean this is really cool and i'm kind of just using it to point at studio lights and stuff which is still very cool.